Alrighty, so I'm going to try to do this justice for YAP Tex, uh, trying to help him out some if I can, because um, I'm also tired of bickering in the comments about this. So, what we got, we have a AMD Fire Pro Graphics, and we have a EVGA GTX 1080 for the Win Edition. Now, I'm also using the XGPD uh, PCIe to M.2 converter, I've got a 700 watt EVGA power supply, and I have it all tied together right here, and if you notice, I have a green light on, and that's because mine has a built-in power switch, and so it knows already if the power is on or off to the graphics card. Now, I'm going to take my Fire Pro graphics, we're going to slot that mofo in there, we're going to turn the PC on. And notice I did not disconnect the internal display, everything is still booting up like it's supposed to. A little intoxicated. So we're loading, you can see the fan is spinning, power supply is on, everything's working great, and I'm going to open device manager. Alright, so I have device manager open now, we're going to go to device, little fucking focus, we'll just get in there, refreshing, display adapters, and it recognizes the A ATI Fire Pro, that's the, that's the graphics card I socketed, now we're going to do the 1080. I have socketed the 1080, we're now going to power on, fans are spinning, PC is still booting, display of the internal is still connected, boot it up, and we're now in window, we're going to open up device manager. And this laptop is from like, I'm going to say early 2011, maybe 12, maybe, no, well, no, because I graduated in 11, so early 2011. And you can see right there, it recognizes the GeForce 1080 for the Win Edition. So your issue, brother, is the fact that your power supply does not power on with the laptop at the same exact time as your main, as your overall issue, period. The only other thing maybe possibly it could be is on the Dell laptop, if you can get into BIOS, disconnect or disable PXE boot. 